Less than two weeks after being nearly beaten to death with a hatchet, an Indianapolis woman out of the hospital and telling her story exclusively tonight to Eyewitness News. Autumn Lopez is still recovering, and she says she's afraid of her attacker, a man who she says used to love her. Only on 13, she spoke with Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyke, hoping her ordeal helps the lives of other abused women. I'm actually a little nervous. It is, after all, Autumn Lopez's first trip outside the hospital and rehabilitation facility. I've been invited out a couple times with friends, but I was always too scared to come out until now. Scared of what? Of, of my ex. Ex-boyfriend, Serviano Diaz-Ortez, who she says he attacked her with a hatchet. My ex-boyfriend had the ax up, raised, and I went like this, and he just he came down, and I started screaming, and he came down again. I don't remember anything after that. He fled. She suffered horribly through a hospital stay and now rehabilitation, although she looks remarkably well. I can't really get out of my head. So in the morning, I'm actually like, God, I'm still alive, knowing how close I came to not being alive. The couple had two children during a 10-year on-and-off-again relationship, marred with verbal and occasional physical abuse. He's never really been a good guy. I, we had the, a good day would be him not being mean to me, I guess. Why didn't you just leave this guy? Those good days just seemed so much, so much better compared to the horrible days that it, by comparison, it just looked normal. What prompted this vicious attack? I decided to move on with my life. I was finally done. He knew I was completely done, and I went out on a date. Autumn believes Ortiz was watching and waiting at her apartment. What did you learn from this? Abusers will always be abusers, and I should have listened to my instincts. I should have gotten away when I wanted to get away. I should have listened to everybody when they said that he's dangerous and he's not good for me. I just need to know that he's not around here. He's not in Indiana. He's not, I can go home and not be scared, because he might try and finish it, you know? Police haven't caught up with Ortiz. He's wanted on charges, John, of attempted murder and burglary. But I'll tell you, the pictures of two weeks ago and today, it's, it's remarkable the recovery she's made. I walked into her hospital room and I thought I was in the wrong room. I didn't recognize her at first. It is a remarkable recovery, though. Autumn experience is still nightmares, dizziness, and headaches. The head wounds are still healing. She wants to see her children soon, get home, get to work, and find a safe place to live. Well, we certainly wish her nothing but the best. Thank you, Rich.